Okay. Um, before we wrap up your state and move on to the next topic, let's also cover set function gotcha, which, by the way, we already touched upon. Um, let's take a look at the fix and a good use case for using the fix. And first, let's just set up a trivial challenge. Let's go to the file, use state gotcha in the star, all that, and set up the state value. So again, practice on setting up the use state, create a button. Like I said, in the beginning, we'll have these buttons. Don't worry. In the next examples, we'll start making more complex setups, add functionality to increase by one and log the state value right after the set function and see what is going to be the result. So again, let me just double check. Yep. And here I'm in use state. Okay. That's awesome. And then in the gotcha, first I want to get the use state here. So let me try the auto import. Yep. That works as far as the initial value. I'm going to go with zero and then value and the function. Well, I'm not going to be particularly original and I'm just going to go with set value. So that is equal to my use state. Okay, awesome. After that, we want to right away create that handle click since I know that it's going to be there. So handle click. That's my function. And in here, I just want to set up increase by one. So it's going to be equal to set value. And let's go with value plus one. So the gotcha is not here. Again, this is going to work as expected. Then let's navigate to our JSX. We want to change this around. It's not going to be a heading two. It's going to be a heading one with our value. So that is going to be correct here. And then let's also set up that button. Type is equal to a button. A button here. Then let's add a class name. Class name will be equal to BTN. And let's say increase. And let's also not forget about the handle click. So on click is equal to handle click. So once we have this on in place, like I said, the gotcha is not in this setup. So this is going to work. What I want you to keep in mind is that this is not going to happen synchronously. So if you log here the value, this won't be already the new value. Notice. Once I refresh, once I start clicking, this is one behind. So here I have the seven and actually in a console, I have a six. And again, the problem is going to be if you have some kind of functionality that relies on that latest value. And in the following video, we'll see how we can get that latest value, which basically is the most recent state update.